Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Tech Beans, and this is the camera comparison between the Pocophone F1 and the Redmi Note 7. This has been my most requested comparison to date. The Pocophone F1 was last year's best bang for the buck phone. A lot of tech reviewers praised not only its performance, but also its amazing camera. Now the Redmi Note 7 just came out with a 48 megapixel camera, something that is quite mind-blowing coming from a $150 phone. Is it actually any good? Or is it all fake? But the question really is, is it actually better than the Pocophone F1? Well, we're about to find out. By the way, my channel is focusing heavily into bang for the buck smartphones just like this and even do comparisons. So if you're into that, just subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my great content. And without further ado, let the battle begin. No. Starting off with some shots taken in broad daylight, the Redmi Note 7 and the Pocophone F1 has almost equal sharpness. The image quality is almost the same, but the Pocophone F1 does look a little bit yellower. I did zoom in to see if there was a difference in detail, and I wasn't able to find a marginal one. They both seem to be on equal footing when it comes to image quality and sharpness. By the way, these are both outputting 12 megapixel photos with AI turned on. I'm going to show you the real power of the 48 megapixel camera in a bit, but for now, with photo mode, it can only output at 12 megapixels. Now, with AI on, it raises the brightness and saturation level of the image. And actually, that's all it does. No noticeable difference in detail at all when it's turned on or off. And when it comes to HDR, the Pocophone F1 performs better, showing very balanced lighting on most photos. The Redmi Note 7 has some pretty harsh highlights and underexposed shadows, something which a future update can fix. And what about selfies? Selfies look almost identical in very good lighting, but in low light, the Pocophone F1 edges the Redmi Note 7 with a sharper, less noisy image. Now when it comes to low light, this is where the Redmi Note 7 flexes its muscles and distances itself from the Pocophone F1. The Redmi Note 7 just captures more detail, has better contrast and punchier colors. In other words, it's more pleasing to look at compared to the Pocophone F1. Although the Pocophone F1 still can produce a very decent image at night, actually it has a much better dynamic range and has better control of lighting. The Redmi Note 7's highlights is mostly overexposed, but with the new update, the Redmi Note 7 is now equipped with night mode. The same exact one from the Mi Mix 3. It's something you can use to bump up the image quality in low light by leaps and bounds. Now both the Pocophone F1 and the Redmi Note 7 have night modes and I actually got different results with them. Check out this ad right here by Coco Ichibanya. This was the Redmi Note 7 before the update and now this is the Redmi Note 7 after the update. That is actually quite the difference but with just photo mode you do get an overexposed image with the Redmi Note 7 but on the Pocophone F1 you get a properly well balanced image with very readable text on the high lights. But now with night mode, it not only makes the text readable, but also reveals the background here. The Pocophone F1 is doing a great job as well. It kind of really focused on the ad and has a much readable text than the Redmi Note 7. Here are some samples of the photo mode versus the night mode. The Redmi Note 7 was always delivering a better image quality compared to the Pocophone F1. Oh, and by the way, feel free to slow down the video anytime you want so that you can appreciate the comparison much more. And now for the highlight of this matchup, the 48 megapixel camera of the Redmi Note 7. This will only work if you enable it in Pro Mode. The output of course is a true 48 megapixel image, which has a dimension of 8000 by 6000. Now the regular photo mode will only output 4000 by 3000 image. And right here is a 12 megapixel photo from the Pocophone F1 and the 48 megapixel photo from the Redmi Note 7. Now when we zoom in a bit, you can really see the details coming from the Redmi Note 7. Now, when we zoom in four times, the Redmi Note 7 still retains the details as you can see right here. Impressive, huh? This is actually very useful when zooming in through text. Double zooming this will result into this. You kind of notice the difference, right? The Pocophone F1 just losing a whole lot of sharpness and going in times four, the Redmi Note 7 just wins this hands down. That is the power of the 48 megapixel, my friends. Okay, this is 1080p, 30 frames per second in low light. I'm in BGC here in the Philippines. Okay, I'm just gonna do a quick walk right here. Just test out the stabilization in both phones. So far, the stabilization is good on 30 frames per second. I will test out 60 frames per second in a bit. And from what I'm seeing right here, the noise level on the Redmi Note 7 is just tremendous. It's not so noticeable here on the Pocophone F1. I'm just pan over here. Yep, the Pocophone F1 does look cleaner compared to the Redmi Note 7. There is just so much noise and grain on the Redmi Note 7. 
it's not that noticeable on the Pocophone F1. Now I also noticed that the color profile on the Ubuntu Note 7 is much more saturated. The colors are much more punchier compared to the Pocophone F1. But the HDR on the Pocophone F1 is much better. Look at the lights, it's not as blown out as on the Redmi Note 7. Alright, testing out the autofocusing system on both phones. You can just point here, right back again to the leaves, and back again to the floor. And it looks like the Pocophone F1 has a much smoother autofocusing system. The Redmi Note 7 looks to be focus hunting right there. As you can see, it's struggling to focus on the subject. Now the great thing about the Pocophone F1 is that it has 4K at 30 frames per second. And the Redmi Note 7 does not have that. It only maxes out at 1080p at 60 frames per second. Just as you can see right here. Let me just walk right here. Walk right here. And the advantage of 4K is that you can get more details when zooming in. But for smoother video, it is the Redmi Note 7 that win this. And here's the selfie video at night. 1080p 30 frames per second. And there's no doubt about it, the Pocophone F1 wins here by a mile. My face looks a lot sharper compared to the Redmi Note 7. The Redmi Note 7 has a really bad selfie camera. I look so much better on the Pocophone F1 compared to the Redmi Note 7. And that's pretty much it. Alright, now for some daylight shots. This is outdoor, 1080p, 30 frames per second. Let me just pan over here. And let me just walk over here. And as you can already see, the Pocophone F1 has much better dynamic range. On the Redmi Note 7, look at the building right there. It is blown out. Not like on the Pocophone F1, everything is well balanced. And yes, we can't forget about closing up on subjects. Here is a bunch of leaves. And as you can see, the focusing on the Redmi Note 7 is not really good, even in daylight. The Pocophone F1 seems to be the better video capable phone here. But in terms of color, the Redmi Note 7 takes it here. Everything looks livelier on the Redmi Note 7 because of the punchy colors. In comparison, the Pocophone F1 looks kind of dry. Yeah. And now for the outdoor selfie video in daylight. It looks like um, both phones look very similar. Pan over here. HDR wise, color wise, they're both pretty much the same. And they both sport the same level of beautification. Yep, pretty much the same in daylight. There you go. I've actually tried out the Google Pixel 3 camera app on both phones. Yes, both support Camera 2 API out of the box, so I was able to install it. I would highly suggest you use this if you want quick photos at night and in daylight that has a lot of super bright lights. The camera mode is much better than the one on the stock camera app, but don't bother with the night sight on the Google Cam. The Mimix 3 night mode is much, much better. It's brighter and has more details. Overall, I think the Redmi Note 7 is the better photo shooter and with access to the Mimix 3 night mode and even Pixel 3's own Google camera, you, you are bound to get great photos with this, just not great videos. The video quality is just crappy right now on the Redmi Note 7. I hope they do update it soon, but if you want the best overall well-balanced shooter, it is the Pocophone F1. The optimization on its camera is just at its peak. It is stable and very usable. You will not go wrong with the Pocophone F1, especially with that mammoth of a Snapdragon 845 flagship processor. If the Redmi Note 7 did not impress you here, just wait for the Redmi Note 7 Pro that has the latest Sony IMX586 sensor expected to be far better than the Samsung GM1 on the Redmi Note 7 right here. Let's just hope it is, as I will be doing a camera comparison between the two when it comes out. So be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss it. This is Vince Domingo from TechBeans and I'll see you on the next video.